If you've been following this channel for some time, you know I'm a big fan of Apple Notes. While being far from perfect, it's free, it comes pre-installed on all your Apple devices, and it's perfectly integrated with the Apple ecosystem. I'm Joe with Paperlike, and today I'm taking a closer look at how Apple Notes evolved over the past weeks and months, especially since iPadOS 17 introduced some killer new features. For those who want my full take on what Apple Notes is and what it can do, I will leave a link in the description to my full Apple Notes review. So let's get going. Starting off with the improved PDF support. Now you can embed your PDFs directly into your notes. Basically, all you need to do is drag it into your notes and the entire PDF will show up on here. No need to open another window anymore. You can go through all the pages and by tapping on Quick Look, you can even view the PDF on its own. Annotation on here is possible, obviously, and you can use the full toolkit for that purpose. Another cool thing is that you can actually compile multiple PDFs in the same note. So let's say you add one PDF here, you want to take your notes right underneath it. You can actually add another one underneath it and then continue to take notes again and so on. Another thing that came with iPadOS 17 is the autofill feature. Let's say you got a PDF form and you open it on Apple Notes. The app will now instantly identify all the boxes that need to be filled in, which is super neat and really useful if you have to fill in a bunch of contracts every month, for example. The toolbar has been updated as well. It got blessed with a crayon tool that just like every writing tool on the app comes with five different thicknesses and an opacity slider. There's also this plus button here allowing you to add stickers, text fields, shapes, or your signature pretty easily. Other than that, there is now support for block notes as well as a mono-style font, which could be handy for quotes or for any parts of my notes that I actually want to stick out a bit. Now to my favorite update within Apple Notes. Before iPadOS 17, you could add links in various ways, which for me was really awesome because I basically used it to collect news articles or YouTube videos for my research. Now you can actually add hyperlinks or rich links for the links to actually seamlessly integrate into your text. To do that, I simply select the words within my text and tap on add link. Here, I just write down or paste my link. You can also just long press without having any text selected and create a link from there. It's the same menu, you just need to add the text if you want to. Where it gets really interesting is that it's not only URLs that you can link. You can also link notes to one another and it works the exact same way. This is especially amazing if Apple Notes is your go-to app for basically all the note taking you do. So here is how I'm taking advantage of this new feature. I basically created a homepage or home note. Well, you can call it however you want. It's basically my launchpad. Here I can find all relevant information to my personal and professional life, like my projects and videos, anything related to my personal admin, or any research regarding my next trips. I can quickly jump to whatever node I need and come back to my launchpad easily. I actually pinned it so it stays easily accessible. To ease up navigation, I actually linked all my projects with subnotes as well. So navigating back and forth between a script or a research note is as seamless as possible. Now, if you wanna link your notes without opening that whole add link menu, it's possible as well. All you need to do is type two brackets. Should I call them that? Aren't those brackets? No, right? Let me know in the comments. But hey, for me they are. By typing two brackets, a menu of recent notes shows up for you to choose from. If the note you're looking for does not show up, you can start typing and the app will filter it out until you find the note you're looking for. I have to admit that this is the kind of feature I didn't know I needed within Apple Notes, but now that it's here, I can see so much potential in here. Just imagine creating your own complex databases in here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, I know, I might feel a bit overexcited about this, but I kind of am. Moving on to the next update. Collaboration features were updated as well. It is now possible to collaborate in real time within your notes, which is pretty cool. Considering this was already possible within Apple's Freeform, it was just a matter of time before it was implemented into Apple Notes. So I'm pretty happy they already did. Lastly, and this is not an Apple Notes update per se, but Spotlight searches now can find your notes. So if you're on your home screen and you need to find a note, 
no need to open Apple Notes anymore. You just write the title of your note into Spotlight and it will find it for you. And that, my friends, pretty much rounds up this video on Apple Notes' most exciting new features. But I'm really curious, are you at all excited about these features or am I the only one here? And what other features do you feel are still missing on a free app like Apple Notes? Let me know in the comments. That's it on my side. I really hope this was helpful. And if you want to know more about other iPadOS 17 features, you should definitely check out the latest video I did on the subject. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.